See, Zeke makes a very good point that news could change this in a heartbeat. So this chart suggests to me that it, we need to be prudent with our expectations in both directions. Uh, obviously, if the big boys decide to sell and come through, there's a lot more in the way of coming backwards in terms of a regression trade than perhaps what's left on the upside. But I, I, I'm not thinking that's going to happen early, if at all today, because we're still in the beginning of the month bias. So the, the hard thing to suffer through is, is just the patience for better setups. And our predictive chart clearly has pointed out the first major target today. So I think the anybody expecting too much short is is subject to getting squeezed. And only until we break down this 5475 area that we talked about do we have a shot at, you know, so, some kind of meaningful retracement. And it, to me, it doesn't look like that's in the cards early. Uh, I can see us going sideways. I can see us doing some miserable chop. And the hit and run idea has been proposed with probably better odds for hit and do highs. Thank you. Uh, obstruction of justice, thank you. Well, they've been after Trump for, since day one. Now, re re remember this prior high area, that 61 area, the shorts have to undo that. Got to get it back, got to get back under 58 and put a little pressure on, on uh, the late traders. And, and I'm again reminding you, you can jump in anytime you want. There are a lot of times that that a good trader is going to jump out of the market and capture profits and then said, okay, what did I do that for? The market's still going. Let's get back in it. And as long as, for, for example, back here, you know, the other day, coming down, you know, you want to make sure you're paid coming into that 35, 38 zone. Then all of a sudden the thing is still coming. If you're out and you want to play the game, you're going to jump back in. It's okay. And you know, in, in a move that's going south side, you know that the definition of a trend down is lower highs, lower lows. So you have to take risk again at lower levels if you're going to participate. And the opposite is true on the long side. So you wind up buying higher to sell higher if you're playing. And at some point, you're wrong, just like the other day, traders who decided they wanted to short at the end of the day. I'm going to hold this because we're going to gap down or whatever. Instead, they gap up. All those traders have to pay up. Those OTF, those bigger players, if they were going the wrong way. And that is the point of these gaps up, is to squeeze those traders and make them pay up and leverage it higher. And you let me think about that. Um, earlier, yes. I haven't even done that calculation yet, truthfully. So I'm glad you brought it up and it tells me that you're absorbing a lot of what we've been talking about. 
uh, I think you have to uh, assume that anything above, as he could posted earlier today, um, that he'd like to see the 50 to 52 retested. Remember, that was a resistance zone um, on Friday. And, and so they've gapped it up above that, and that's trap traders. So Zeke is, what Zeke is suggesting is he would like to see us come back and retest this area right here that was resistance and now theoretically could be supportive until broken, right? So the numbers that you, you are posting are helpful and what I'm trying to do is put that into perspective with traders and, and their locations and what's going on. So yeah, your 53 idea certainly is has merit. It's in that neighborhood. It's going to take some time, guys. Don't think of a big trade, long or short, right now, in my opinion. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, that's a lot of work to do those videos, but I know longer term, if you make time to go through them, they will help. I try to capture some unique ideas on, on each different one. Plan today, first of all, avoid trouble. If you are trading, think small. Spread your trades out over different parts of the day. We said new highs would give better opportunity for shorts rather than being too aggressive. We're looking for evidence, a sign that the big boys like the trade and they're coming south side. The 15 minute chart is a problem. The five minute chart is a problem because we've got all those moving averages to come through. That being said, we are so far stretched from where we were the other day and from the rain line that there are better odds for a short to at least scalp short and try to, you know, nickel and dime coming south side. And then take stop outs on trailers or just capture. It's not an easy open, especially in the in the land of the bots. <laughs> <laughs> 